Hello viewers! In this video, we're going to convert improper fractions to mixed numbers and vice versa. So the first four examples here, fractions are all improper fractions where the numerators are bigger than its denominators. So we'll be converting them into mixed numbers. So let's start with number one. So number one, we have seven over five. So we will be dividing 7 by 5. So 7 divided by 5 will just be 1. 1 times 5 is 5. And then 7 minus 5 is 2. So now we can write the improper fraction starting with the quotient. So we will write 1, then the remainder, 2 over the denominator 5. So, 7 over 5 is equal to 1 and 2 over 5. Number 2, we have 9 over 4. So, this is just 9 divided by 4. So, 9 divided by 4 is 2. Okay, so 2 times 4 is 8. Now, we will subtract. 9 minus 8 is 1. Now, writing the improper fraction, we will start again with the quotient 2. So, we will write equals to 2, then the remainder 1, then the denominator 4. So, 1 over 4. So, 9 over 4 is equal to 2 and 1 4. Next example, number 3, we have 10 over 3. So, we will divide 10 divided by 3. So, this is just, this will give us 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Now, 10 minus 9 is 1. So, this is equal to the quotient. We will write the quotient first. So, 3 and then this one, the remainder, 1 over the denominator 3. So, 10 over 3 is equal to 3 and 1 third. The last example, we have 19 divided by 6. So, now dividing 19 by 6. So, we will have here 3. So, that 3 times 6 is 18. And then 19 minus 18 is 1. So, now we can write the improper fraction. We will start with 3, then the remainder, 1, denominator, 6. So, 19 over 6 is equal to 3 and 1 over 6. Now, let's discuss converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. We have here 3 mixed numbers. So, we will be converting them into improper fractions. A while back, we have uh, converted an improper fraction to mixed number. This time, it's the reverse. So, let's start with number 1. Number 1, you have 2 and 3 fifth. So, what we're going to do first is to multiply the denominator to the whole number 2. So, you will multiply the two numbers. So, we're going to have 5 times 2, that is 10. Now, after that, from 10, we will add this to the numerator 3. So, adding plus 3, that will give us 13. Then, the denominator will be the same. We will write here 5. So, 2 and 3 fifth is equal to 13 over 5. So, again, we have... Uh, multiplied 5 and 2, so 5 times 2 is 10. Then from the sum, 10 plus 3, that will give us 13. And then just copy the denominator at the bottom, so this would be 13 over 5. The next example is 4 and 2 over 7. So just like what we did earlier in the first example, we will multiply the denominator 7 to the whole number 4. So multiply 7 times 4. That is 28 plus, plus the numerator 2. So, 28 plus 2 is equal to 30 over, just copy the denominator 7, 
So your answer is 30 over 7. The last example that we have here is 2 and 1 over 6. So we will again multiply the denominator to the whole number 2. So multiplying 6 times 2, we have 12. Then 12 plus 1. So again, 6 times 2, that is 12, plus the numerator 1. So 12 plus 1 is 13. All over, just copy the denominator, we have 6. So 2 and 1 over 6 is just equal to 13 over 6. If you want to check whether your answer here, 13 over 5, is really equal to 2 and 3 fifth, you can just divide this. So, dividing 13 by 5, so this gives us 2. 2 times 5 is 10. And then 13 minus 10, this is equal to 3. So, that means if we're going to write the improper fraction, this is 2. Because we're going to start with the quotient. So, 2 and then the remainder 3 over the denominator 5. So therefore, 2 and 3 fifth is equal to 13 over 5. Here at the bottom, we can see the first example that we had. We converted the improper fraction 7 over 5 to the uh, mixed number. So let's just check whether this one, 1 and 2 fifth, is really the mixed number equal to 7 over 5. So doing something like this, so 5 times 1, that is equal to 5, and then you will add that to the numerator 2, so plus 2. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7, and then just copy the denominator 5. So we have 7 over 5. So 7 over 5 is really equal to 1 and 2 over 5.